What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for being here. We have lots of exciting things happening and going on right now, so I'm just really stoked to share them with you guys. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you some updates on a bunch of my plants. So I'm basically just going to be going around and showing you all the new growth coming in, how previous strugglers are doing now, and maybe some some new plants that might not be doing so hot uh yeah i haven't done an update video in a few months two or three months actually which is not usual for me i typically do it like every every month at the end of every month but we're just gonna go check out a whole bunch of plants and we're also going to be doing an update on the mars hydro grow light that i was sent a little over a month ago now i've been using it over the same plant plants for about five weeks and i'm going to be showing you how that's going i'm going to be showing you uh, how all of the plants beneath the light and all around the light are benefiting from it So if you were worried wondering about that stick around because that will be in this video Update on the Mars Hydro grow light. Let's just take a look at all of the new growth since I put this light up I've had it up for a month now We're gonna start over here with Philip my fiddle leaf fig. He's a couple three and a half four feet away from the light and diagonal so this guy was really needing a lot more light than he was getting this whole last year, really. He also had, he dealt with spider mites. So this was an old spider mite leaf, like new leaf that came in while he had mites or after I treated him for mites. And this was another one, these tiny leaves. These are his old leaves and then wha-bam. Look how massive this new leaf is, guys. It's huge. Like, is that not insane? Look at that. It's the biggest leaf he has. It's really crazy. And then we have this new leaf, which is still growing as well. Just in a month, his leaves have just gotten massive. Like, it's really, really crazy. Okay, it's been a couple days, guys. I had to film the rest of this at a different time, but the leaf has hardened off on Philip. I just thought I'd show you. It's massive. If we move over here directly underneath the Mars Hydro. Hey guys, editing Sam here. I just wanted to pop in and clarify something because people may be like, what the heck? So I did put my Mars Hydro grow light up in front of a window. I should have explained this whenever I first initially put the light up, but during the fall and winter, we don't get good light in that window at all. So that's why I put the light where I did. Now, I would like to move the light over the giant plant stand that I have a bunch of my plants on. I would like to put it there and let it cascade down and let it um, provide light on the three, three racks of plants. And that's probably something that I will do once we move. I just don't really want to take it down and put it up there yet. So right now it's spring and we are getting really good sunshine in the window that the Mars Hydro light is currently in um, as of the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. Continue. These plants are sitting about two feet beneath the light. So I guess I'll start with the Anthurium clarinervium that I love so much. So this was his newest leaf and it's about twice the size of any of his previous leaves. So that's pretty impressive. But not only that, check it out. He is blooming, can you believe it? Like I said, this light's been up for about five weeks now, maybe closer to six, and yeah, we have lots of stuff going on. There's also, doop, another new leaf coming in, and it's so adorable, I love it so much. Now I did move my Thai constellation over here just because I was hoping maybe it would grow a little bit faster. It's still a baby. I just moved it over here probably a week or so ago. Here's my Billetai. This is Bill Nye the Billetai. And he did have a new leaf that was coming in that it arrived with, it was shipped with, and that leaf just kind of turned brown and detached itself from the plant. So here we have one of my absolute favorite philodendrons, and this is Philodendron adabopoense. This is his newest leaf, and I just think it's so interesting. Let me pull him out. I just think it's so interesting because if you look at all of his older leaves, they're kind of, the way that they're laying is kind of reaching out and this one's pointing downward. This new leaf is pointing downward like the billetai. 
So I just, I wonder if that is different growing conditions or what the reasoning is, but I think it's really awesome. And this new leaf is gorgeous. Guys, now I'm sorry, I know it's kind of hard to tell a whole lot about in the individual plants themselves because everything's just so jumbled, but I promise once we eventually get moved, they'll be spaced out more so you can actually appreciate them. But this leaf is just striking. I find myself constantly coming over and stroking it and looking at it. I absolutely love the ears, the lobes. I think they are so adorable, and I also am obsessed with the beautiful purplish red backsides it's gorgeous and it just unfurled this leaf probably a week ago and we do have another one on the way we have the stunning philodendron jose bueno just look at him look at him so this guy has actually is working on actually putting off his third leaf since being underneath the grow light so let's check him out this is the first new leaf he gave me under the light and then he popped out this one, which is insanely gorgeous. And now, look at this new leaf, guys. I'm going to gently peel it back so you can see the variegation. It's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? It's white. That is like a creamy white variegation. It's so gorgeous. That's my favorite leaf by far. He's getting massive. He needs a repot. His roots are coming out the bottom and some are poking up around the top. To the right of these plants, Sorry the lighting's really crappy today. But we have, oh look at this, my philodendron ring of fire. Um, as most of you may know, uh, most of these plants here under the light are my green spaces order that I got over three months ago now. Anyway, so this guy finally put off a new leaf and I'm pretty sure you can tell which one it is. How gorgeous is that? What if these plants are getting enough light, whenever the new leaves come in, the variegation is, it's kind of tinged this beautiful pink color. It's so cute, like a blush pink. It's adorable. We do have another growth point coming in. Woo woo! So I also moved my booby cactus over here because I just don't think she was getting the proper light and I figured she would be happier over here. Here we have my Anthurium Silver Blush. This is a Crystallinum Hybrid, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's not under the light per se, but it's off to the side getting adequate lighting from the Mars Hydro. Since putting the light up, this plant put off this cute little leaf. It's also putting off this little baby leaf. Oh, I'm obsessed. Here's the little peanut cactus that Sarah sent me. She sent me a bunch of little babies and I just potted them up and they're rooting really well. And they're actually turning red at the tips from the grow light and the sun they get from this window. Up here we have my avocado tree that I grew myself from seed. I started this last July, 2019, the beginning of the month and I started it in water. It rooted up. I potted it probably six months later and look at him, he's so cute. I'm so proud of this avocado tree. He's awesome. So he's almost a year old. We're almost ready to celebrate his one year of life. My Raven ZZ is, has I think three new shoots at the moment. So he's doing really good. So here we have my pink princess that I got last fall and it arrived with root rot. I had to reroot it in sphagnum moss. It's still in sphagnum moss. I also lost all of the variegated leaves. There was only a couple lower dark green leaves left. Um, so I put it in sphagnum moss, I put it in this bag and let's take a look at her now. She has outgrown this bag definitely. So I'm going to be figuring she actually needs watered. I'm going to be figuring out a new situation for this girl soon. I did take her out of the bag for like a month and she stopped growing. So I put her back. But guys, check out all of these crazy aerial roots. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This plant is going insane in the plastic bag. Okay, so let's look at all of her new leaves since putting her in the bag. This one with just little tiny hints of variegation. This one, same situation. This is an older one, I think. 
Okay, and then this one, it's growing so fast. Look how beautiful. Look at that large sectorial chunk of pink. That is so pretty. And then I put off this dupe, which only has a tiny little bit of pink. It, it, it's almost a black color. It's really pretty though. And then the newest leaf is this one, and it also has a large chunk of variegation and some around the edge of the leaf. So it's doing really, really well. It really needs to be up potted, and I don't know, I would like to put it either in a terrarium situation or maybe a cloche. If I could find a cloche big enough, that would work good. But I'm really proud of this little lady. She's come so far. I pulled down my Albo Syngonium a couple days ago because it was completely flopped over it started to crawl it started to vine syngoniums are vining plants i had it staked up on a smaller stick and it was just like crawling onto my other plants i staked it back up but he is getting massive like massive and i just love him this this guy will start putting off um, a lot of just plain green leaves after a while and I'll typically just cut him back and it's no problem. He starts putting out variegation again, but he's gorgeous. He's definitely one of my favorites. I love syngoniums and I love variegation. So this leaf's probably my absolute favorite though. Isn't that not beautiful? And then this is his newest leaf. So a little bit less variegation, but still gorgeous. Over here on this little table, I just have some little random things that I keep swapping in and out with other stuff, but this is my Burl Marks Variegata. I actually trimmed it back. I think I took three cuttings from it, small cuttings, to send to friends. And as you can see, he's just getting so wonky. He's growing node after node after node after node. Like, it's kind of crazy. And he is starting to produce more variegation. So this right here is a brand new leaf, and it's so adorable. Granted, it's tiny, but... It's still a beautiful and I love it nonetheless. Here's a new leaf. I have no idea if it'll have variegation. Um, this is a newer leaf and it has variegation. There's two plants in here. One was only a couple of variegated leaves and the other was mostly green, but it came from a variegated mother plant. So I've noticed on the around the bottom of the pot seems to be where I'm getting the majority of my variegation. And then on the top, it's more green, which I have no problem with. The green leaves themselves are beautiful. Are they not? They're so shiny and just, I love them so much. But yeah, this guy has growth points coming in all over him. He's doing really well. He needs a moss pole, actually. I just up-potted him a couple weeks ago. This is my Hoya macrophylla that my beautiful friend Sarah sent me. I need to pot it up in a bigger pot with my other smaller one, but it's doing really well. Calathea fasciata is growing like crazy, guys. Like one, two, three, four, and there's like, there's more. There's another one. Five, six. There's just new leaves coming in everywhere on this plant. Uh, I love it so much. And I'm so proud of her and happy that she's doing well. So this is my Stromanthe Trio Star. Um, I got this off Amazon back in the winter. And it when it arrived, it didn't have a heat pack. It was cold out. So every single leaf crisped up and fell off. Every single leaf. But I didn't give up on it. And since then, since the winter, check her out. She's growing like crazy. She's super happy and healthy. I love the coloration on these leaves, all of the different colors that it offers. This seems to be a really easy plant, really fast grower, and it's really beautiful. So I'm also really proud of her. We have a cute little new babe coming in on my Monstera Peru. You would have just seen this beauty, but this is Raphidophora decursiva, putting off its third new leaf in my care. Here we have my Gloriosum that went through all kinds of messed up shit <laughs> since the winter. And I lost all of its big leaves. It had really large leaves at one point and basically had to start this plant over. So all of these plants you see, it has grown since winter. And they're all so cute. This is the newest leaf, obviously. Adorable. And then we have another one coming out to say hello. Philodendron Florida Ghost, super cute. 
my giant Prince of Orange. It's doing really well. Um, it could use its own spot in a window, so we're just kind of toughing it out until we move, but obviously this is his newest leaf, and then we have another new leaf coming in right here. He's always putting out a new leaf. Oh, and there's another one right here. Wow. Okay, so there's two new leaves. Three. Holy cow. Okay, three new leaves. Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing real good. We'll say that. He's massive, guys. On the Begonia Lana, we think, that Sarah sent me. This rooted up really, really fast, and I potted it up probably a week or so ago, and it looks really nice. It's doing good. I absolutely love her, and I think she looks super cute in this pot. Let's get my oxalis. It went dormant, actually, over the winter and it's growing back lovely it's actually got a bloom coming in right here as well I love this one it's like the dark purple on the outside and the light purple my shamrock plant I love it here's my pink splash syngonium from green spaces it, there's a new leaf right there and it, there's another one coming in it's put off three or four new leaves now since being in my home and it's doing really good. I love it. It's so easy and seems to be a fast grower, which most syngoniums, you know, are. So it's not a surprise, but there's this beautiful guy because I can't leave him out. I just wanted to show you guys what happened in literally like a month. I, I managed to get the plant, pot it up, rot the roots, try to reroot it, rot it some more, cut the roots off, cut the stem off, put it in water, actually reroot it, and now I'm about to pot it up. Here we have another little cloche situation. These are my more uh, finicky, <clears throat> my more finicky humidity loving begonias. So here we have my begonia red planet, which has grown back after I almost lost it when I first received it from Hertz. You can see we've got some new leaves. They're so cute and fuzzy. We love them. Look at those little baby leaves, guys. They're adorbs. It's actually a little bit thirsty, I think, because the leaves are a little bit wilted. Here we have the beautiful Begonia Jula. And you can see these two outer leaves here that look like butterfly wings are the newest. And then there's another new leaf coming in the middle there. The leaves are just coming in such a good size now and so beautiful that looks like an angel or a butterfly that is so cute I love it I, I've actually decided to just leave it alone so it's in sphagnum moss in the nursery pot that it was sent to me in I will eventually be up potting it but it, since it's doing so well right now I really just don't want to mess with it plus when I up pot it I'm gonna have to get a bigger cloche for it or put it in a terrarium or something so here we have Lucy, and Lucy is my Begonia Lucida, or Lucida, I can't remember how to say it, but this arrived in kind of sad shape. It lost most of the leaves. They were snapped from the base of the stem, but the roots were fine. So I put it in here, and that middle leaf there is a new leaf, the largest one. I absolutely am obsessed with the texture and design of the leaf on this one. I think it is so beautiful and so unique. It literally looks like lightning running through the leaf. The shape is really awesome. I just love it. And then look at the back sides. Oh, they're so beautiful, guys. We actually have another new leaf coming in right there. So really exciting. There's more buds along the stem, but it's doing really well. These begonias seem to really, really be loving this little cloche setup that I have them in. It's working out really nicely. Okay, I hope you can see this guy back here. I really want to show him to you. This is my philodendron pastazanum. Yeah, this was his newest leaf. Check it out. It's massive, guys. I'm obsessed with these pillowed leaves. Anyway, he's growing all kinds of crazy. He's massive. He needs up potted and a space of his own. Um, all of his other leaves are reaching for the light at the window. Look right here. This is his newest leaf. Oh, it's so pretty. My baby Birkin is doing awesome. It's growing really fast. I'm super proud of him. 
philodendron padatums doing really well also. Look at all of his new cute little leaves. I love how misshapen they are and how different each leaf is from the last. You have some like this, you have some like this. This is a newer leaf, isn't it so cute? And then here's another new leaf. And there's just one unfurling here. And here. And he everywhere. There's leaves everywhere on this guy. He's so cute. So my my Domino Peace Lily, the variegated Peace Lily. I purchased this last summer. It literally had three leaves, three tiny skinny leaves. It looked awful, whatever. Anyways, it's grown so much. It's, it's huge. I love him. His leaves have gotten really big. The variegation is beautiful. I feel like he's finally the plant that I wanted him to be when I bought him. This guy actually just got done blooming. So he, he had two blooms at once. Right here's a stem to one of the blooms. Here's my lady that we usually catch up with in my updates that also had root rot and I've rerooted her. We've had a long journey, but I finally had the courage to untangle her crazy root ball from the sphagnum moss that I had her living in and pot her up in soil. And she's doing really well. She did lose a leaf when I potted her up, but she's doing really well. And we have a new leaf trying to strangle itself. So there's that. So I actually moved a couple things around. But this is my Syngonium Chia Pence, and he is beautiful. He did get spider mites when I was having that issue a few months ago, but he has recovered well, and we put off this leaf here, which was a little bit stunted, but he's also putting off another leaf now, so I gave him a moss pole. He's beautiful. He put off ours going crazy. Sorry, guys. Look at these roots. This is the little Hartley philodendron that Sarah sent me, and it had tiny little roots whenever she sent it, but I really need to get them potted up. That is so cool looking, though. And then right next to him, we have my beautiful philodendron Brandy. And I love her so much. She's doing really good. She's putting off new leaves. That one's a little bit jacked up from shipping, but it's all good. She is recovering really well, and I think she looks gorgeous here. She also has prime real estate for the humidifier, so she's not complaining about that at all. So I figured I would give you guys a little overview of this area over here and how everything's doing over here. The lighting's terrible, I'm sorry. Uh, I do have a set of grow lights here for these guys. We have a Hoya Carii with some new growth coming in. We have my Hoya Puba Calyx back there, Splash, and my Hoya Australis. I know it's really crowded right here. I repotted my Raffida Four Touch or Sperma into this bigger pot. It was in a four inch pot, which was just way too small. Back here is Begonia Maculata Whitei, doing well. Hoya, my beautiful Monstera Adansoni, Macrophylla, my beautiful Hoya Chelsea from Sarah, Linaris, one of my favorites. Hoya Sunrise, and then here's all my other lovely Hoyas that are doing really well and growing like crazy. I'm really proud of them all. And here we have some more. More Hoya Watermelon Peperomia. There's my Skindapsis Pictus. My wild and way too long string of bananas. The Monstera Deliciosa, which is finally getting a little more light, so maybe she'll start growing better, I don't know. Yeah, so this is that area here. I wanted to show you guys how giant my white butterfly Syngonium is. This was my first ever Arrowhead Syngonium plant. I just repotted her as well. She's so beautiful. I absolutely love this plant. It's getting very low uh, indirect light. It's a little bit more than it was over the winter. And it's still putting off these really decent sized leaves. It's still growing really fast. Um, it has tons of new, new growth on it. So I just wanted to show her off because I just think she's so beautiful. And then ignore my cooking oil, but I just have my heart leaf philodendron kind of trailing down here, the microwave onto the stove. Looking cute.
I think that's just about gonna do it. I think that's all the plants that I wanted to share with you guys. That's how everybody's doing. I'm just really, really excited and stoked that spring's here. I know I've been talking about moving forever. That's still happening, so I'm still patiently awaiting to find our perfect home. So me and my family and my plants can move into a bigger, uh, more appropriate space. So I'll probably wait to do a plant tour until we actually get moved like a full plant tour because it's just so chaotic over in my plant room especially but I love it I do I love it nonetheless so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys very soon in my next video I love you all so much bye guys